Hey, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough on Canva's new Canva Docs feature. But what exactly is Canva Docs to begin with? Well, the landing page explains it perfectly, which is Canva Docs is a visual first document creator that allows you to design documents supercharged with videos, images, graphics, charts, and graphs. Think of Canva Docs as Word with Canva. So it's a word processor, but at the same time, you can actually visually design. So therefore kind of dragging and dropping elements, photos, images, even videos too at the same time. This is an example Canva doc that I created called five productivity tips for entrepreneurs. So it's a article or report with visual elements like graphics and charts. Here's another example of a product launch kind of proposal. In addition, Canva docs already features tons of templates to choose from. So all you need to do is just select one of these and start from there. And a big reason why you should use Canva docs is this feature right here called Magic Write, which is an AI built in to the word processor. So anywhere on your document, you will see this plus sign. You click plus and then you can click on magic right and then enter a prompt just like chat GPT. So for instance, let's list five stats on productivity. I'll press enter. And in a matter of seconds, it's come up with five stats on productivity. All right, to get started using Canva docs, make sure you first have a Canva account. If you don't have one, look in the description box below where there's a link to a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. Although you don't need a Canva Pro account, you can simply sign up for free and use Canva docs. Once you're in, Canva may recommend the doc feature. Otherwise you can always search at the top and search for doc and then you'll see doc right there. Click that once and you'll be presented with the templates that Canva offers. So all these are compatible with Canva docs. Now on that note, there is a difference between a Canva doc and a normal kind of Canva design. With a Canva doc, it acts more so like a word processor where you can start typing some content, right? Whereas with a regular Canva file is just kind of like a canvas. So let's add some body text or press the T key. And then this is some paragraph text, right? And then you've got to kind of, you know, set and position where you want it and then choose the kind of the width of it and height of it. And that is one of the big differences between a Canva doc and a regular Canva file or document. Now back to the templates, you could very well start with one of these if it fits your purpose. Otherwise you could very well just click on create a blank doc and then that opens up a new canvas. You could start with a title such as five productivity tips for entrepreneurs. Now you could also get some suggestions uh, using its AI. So in order to activate and actually execute trigger the AI, in this case, it's called magic writer, simply press either the forward slash command key and then start typing uh, magic. And that will basically uh, find that magic right tool and all you need to do is just press enter and then this kind of prompt window and field will appear where you can start writing your prompt and describe exactly what you want to do. So in this case, let's say we want suggestions you know, other than five productivities for entrepreneurs. And here's what it's generated. You can tell that AI generated it because it's highlighted in green. You could always click away and that should uh, disappear like that. Now, some suggestions include maximizing your time, five tips for productive entrepreneurs, you know, so pick and choose, or you could, you know, get some more suggestions if you like. The only thing I have noticed is that if you put in that prompt and that description, it keeps it right, right here, suggest catchy title. So you kind of need to just delete it. I'm not sure why it doesn't automatically get rid of it, maybe for history purposes. So you, you can see what prompt you actually used, but in this case, you know, really we do not need it. The other way, of course, to trigger that Magic Writer uh, AI is to simply click the plus and then we can click on Magic Write, okay? And then enter our prompt there. You may have also noticed when you click on plus, there are some other actions. So you could format something or the title as an H1 or an H2, uh, body text, you could insert a table, right? On, uh, wherever that cursor is, uh, insert a pie chart, you know, different charts, you could embed different things and integrate other apps as well. You've got a timer, design, uh, help, checklist, you know, different bullets and emojis and logos. If you wanted to add some media such as photos, click on photos and we can select something like productivity. Let's see what comes up. Let's choose this one right here. I'll click once and it's inserted or you could very well just drag and drop it wherever you want. Next, let's try and add some content by using Magic Write. So we'll click on Magic Write, and this time I'll just ask the AI to write 
uh, an article on this topic right here. The prompt I'll use is write an article on five productivity tips for entrepreneurs in a friendly tone. Let's see what this comes up with. All right, so it says here are five productivity tips for entrepreneurs that can help you make the most out of your time and then here are the five uh, things. And it says at the end, we'll just click out and it says, remember everyone's productivity style is different. So experiment with different techniques to find what works best for you, good luck. And I guess that's where the friendly kind of tone comes in. So you could prompt it in a different way. So if you want a professional formal, you could trigger it in that way. Uh, make sure you, that you write the right prompts. So it's all about experimenting uh, with the prompts there. May not be perfect. As you can see, it says sure thing. It's as if it's talking to me. So <laughs> we'll delete that and that's a bit better. If you want to embed some visualizations and graphs, you could always go and click plus and insert any one of these charts. So let's say a bar chart that will insert a template where you can now enter the data. So input these numbers and you can change the uh, columns and what they mean. And here's a pro tip. You could always go back to the templates of the docs and then search for or browse through the templates. And let's say we want to copy and paste uh, the elements such as this meal planner. We'll open it, click on customize this template. That'll create a new document. And let's say we want to copy this table. All we need to do is just copy all of that. Now we'll copy it to my clipboard or right click and copy. Go back to my document and paste it right in. And as you can see, it's inserted and we can always match the same colors by clicking on some of these columns and rows and where we can change this right up here to the colors that we actually want. What's also great about Canva Docs is you can collaborate with other team members working in Harmony. So right here where you can see the plus sign, simply add their name, email or group and then they'll be added so then they can work in sync with you. Another cool little feature is that you can convert your document into a presentation by clicking this convert button and then it will convert it to something like this. So let's click on get started. Now it's creating it. Choose a template from one of these and you can see a preview right here. So five productivity tips for entrepreneurs and you can see the lines of text. It may not be perfect and that's where the kind of tweaks and adjustments uh, will be made. But it did a pretty good job. You can see that this meal matrix <laughs> has been separated onto one page. If you like what you see, simply click on create my presentation. If you wanna save it as a PDF document, simply click on share then to download and you'll see by default, it's already got PDF standard selected and we'll click on download. And because you are using Canva, you've got the power to add apps from third parties. You could add a QR code. You could also integrate your Instagram to it. You could add a form even. And of course, you've got the basic features of a word processor, as you can see at the top with the different fonts and sizes and the alignments and different, you know, spacing of the paragraphs, as you can see. So if we highlight this, we can change the spacing, letter spacing or line spacing too. But apart from that, that's how you can get started with Canva Docs. Whether you only have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account, it's available for free. Simply search for Doc and away you go. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Take care for now and do stick around to watch these next relevant videos.